today I'm working on my green screen. I'm going to mount it somewhere up in here. Time to go to Home Depot. Home Depot is the place to go. So that's where we're headed. I've always said I wasn't going to do talking head videos, but I'm working on a green screen so I can do a talking head video. <coughs> I started this channel out as living in the Pacific. No, I started this channel out as retired in Samar. We moved to Samara in 2013. I uh, began a blog in 2012, and it wasn't until 2015 that I had the idea of maybe doing some videos um, for a family album. In 2016, I published my first video. Uh, it was also 2016 when I created my YouTube channel. And for almost four years, four years I did videos from the Philippines <clears throat> not a lot it was a hobby more to me you know some guys do it for an income um, and it's a lot it's a lot of work and I never intended intended for it to be a lot of work I just wanted it for something to do and over time I invested more time and more money in the channel and, and uh, it's grown it hasn't grown as fast as some channels talking head channels and there's a couple of reasons one I don't do a lot of content I'm lucky if I at one time I was lucky to put up one video a week sometimes one video every 10 days that does not get me a big audience if you want to grow a big audience on YouTube you're gonna to need to put up two to three videos a week minimum some guys put up a video a day and you can tell in their subscriber count the number of views um, content drives the channel for me it was never about content and number of views and all the statistics it was just for like I said to have something to do and uh, I enjoy the creativity side of it and I've never done the talking head videos um, my channel is not an advice channel, although I'm probably more qualified to give advice than some YouTubers who had just gotten to the Philippines and all of a sudden they become experts. Um, this month, the well, next month, I'll, I will have gone over 15 years living in this part of the world. Um, almost eight years living in the Philippines. And two, two uh, stints actually, but <clears throat> I've been married to the Philippines for 34 years, so I, I would think I know a little bit about something. I'm not an expert. I don't profess to be an expert. I'm not a dating expert, and I've been married 34 years, so I think I would know a little bit of something about relationships. So anyway, back to my channel. I'm working on a green screen. I'm gonna do me a talking head video, maybe. If you have a 
green card and are residing overseas and U.S. immigration determines that you are abusing that green card, in other words, you're just using it for travel purposes like a passport, then they can yank that green card away from you and then you start all over. And in her case, if she had to start all over, she would not get that permanent green card again. Now I think they're only good for three to five years. I'm not even sure, but she would lose that permanent status. So, what we have decided is for her to reestablish residency and uh, you've got to be in the country three out of the last five years to be eligible for U.S. citizenship. So, we screwed that up by moving to the Philippines. But So now we're here in Guam, we've been here a little over three years, she's got her residency established and we're, we're going to apply for her U.S. citizenship and then COVID struck. Depot and they've got trailer parking. I've never seen trailer parking before and I used to work at Home Depot years ago. So I'll be a good guy and not park in the trailer parking spot. But I would think that'd be over by a contractor uh, on the other side where the lumber is, but you never know. So anyway, uh, we're here in Guam and uh, I'm at Home Depot. I'll continue the story later. It'd be a good subject to put on my mask before I get on my truck. I usually just walk up the door with no mask on, but I get dirty looks. No line today. Usually there's a line that goes way back there. But I think because it's raining, there's no line. I'm not here for a lot, but I'm getting my cart anyway. Yeah, it looks like Halloween. Looks like headstones are on sale. Only well, three hundred and twenty-eight dollars. No, that's a giant skeleton. Well, here are the headstones. Only thirty-two dollars. What a deal! Got everything else you need for Halloween. It's that time of year. That's an expensive rig there. Why would anybody want a dog, a skeleton dog? I don't know. I know people who are afraid of clowns. That would have come in handy a few years back. I come here for wire, and uh, that's not what I want. The one I want is probably this one here. And that one and that one both out of stock. Those are way too big, so I'll settle for these. Mason line. Oh, and I need some, some grommets. Grommet tool kit, but there's no tool. That'll work. Got me this big old cart, and that's all I got is two items. Self checkout. 869. Ah, the light's there up. There okay. you go. This is very complicated. <laughs> no coin shortage here. Another shopping experience. Completed. Now, where was I? Retired in Samar is now living in the Pacific. Has been for quite a while. And it seems I've lost a few followers because of the, uh, the rebranding. Um, and I don't know how to get them back other than uh, I just got to keep producing content and hope they find me. Maybe they'll remember about me one day and 
the only thing I can hope for is that if you do watch my videos, give them a thumbs up, subscribe, and after you subscribe, ring that bell so you get notified of all new stuff, new videos. And please share my videos and comment. I love comments because comments, uh, if you comment and I respond with a comment, that's, uh, that's two comments. And the YouTube algorithm loves comments, loves channel interaction, so that helps uh, push my videos out to more people. So uh, I've decided I'm going to go ahead and concentrate a little bit more on making the channel grow. I think um, we're trying to get back to the Philippines pretty soon. I've been saying that since April. But when I do get back to the Philippines, I got uh, a lot of projects. Uh, on the table, I've got a drone. Um, I got some new ideas, and I want to start pumping out some more Philippine videos. But until then, I'm on Guam, so I will uh, continue with the Guam videos. It's all in the tropics. It's pretty much the same culture. There's a lot of Filipinos here. Um, if it if it weren't for tomorrow's on this island, this would this island would be Filipino. I think President Duterte thinks this island belongs to him anyway but um, the culture is similar uh, the Spanish were here, the Spanish were there everywhere the Spanish goes they leave this cult same culture uh, Catholicism um, warm friendly people who love to eat and make noise although Guam the Guamanians for tomorrow's don't make as much noise as the Filipinos do but uh, they just love parties. So anyway, if you like my channel, if you enjoy my channel, keep watching my videos. And in the meantime, I'm going to go back home and figure this green screen thing out and see if I can make it work. If not, I'll just do a talking head video without the green screen. Hey, I guess this is kind of like a talking head video, isn't it? Yeah. This is really my first talking head video then. And I hope I uh, explain the rebranding of my channel correctly. Um, I still don't want to look at it as a full-time job. It's still going to be a hobby. But I'm going to try to put up some uh, content more often than I have been doing. I think here lately I've been averaging about one a week. So I'm going to keep, keep on uh, with about one a week or maybe two a week. Uh, might help my channel grow. I'm uh, almost back at the condo. It's uh, not even 9.30 yet. I think I need another cup of coffee. You know I went and broke the, broke, broke the handle off my tailgate this week. I gotta order a new part. But the good part, good thing is there is Ford parts available on the island. Ta-da! I think that's enough for today.